Hey, what's up everybody? Fishhook Terry here. Wanted to give my final recap impression of the Jackhammer by Z-Man Chatterbait. This thing has been awesome for me this spring. If you saw my other video, I bought all the comparison Chatterbaits. The half ounce, black and blue, the Project Z, the Custom, the Freedom. And I wanted to compare them with this Chatterbait that was such a hot topic because of how expensive it was. Well, I can tell you this thing is absolutely worth the money. In the time I've thrown it the last three weeks, I probably have caught at least a hundred fish from it. Large mouth, small mouth, pike, you name it. They've chewed it, they've tried to destroy it, they've tried to make it their own, but this thing has been just awesome. And I think it has a lot to do with the components, and I'll tell you why. So when I was comparing these, and I've been a huge bladed jig thrower for a few years now, the components on this make it stay in the strike zone much longer and much better than the other chatterbaits. Now, granted, I have thrown other companies' bladed jigs, and again, this is where it's at. This is the best out there, and I know a lot of guys, when this first came out, said, look, I can build my own bladed jig for three bucks. Why in the world would I pay 15 to $20 for this bladed jig? No hate, much love to all those guys that build their own. I'm the same kind of way I like to tinker and build kind of stuff and get the satisfaction of catching a fish out of a lure that you made, but this thing, the components on this jackhammer, blow any of those components away that you would buy for a $3 bladed jig. The stainless steel blade, as well as the lower center of gravity head for this jackhammer, makes it outperform all of the others. So I noticed in fishing the other chatterbaits, they have a tendency to rise up or blow out of the water this thing does not do that. This lure will stay in the strike zone the entire time. Even if I had a, uh, a trailer hook on and catch the, the hook, or maybe grass on the blade, this thing still did not want to rise up or blow out of the water. It still continued to have its movement, a hard chatter, it was just awesome. It really worked amazing. The The hook is the best hook of any of the other chatterbaits I've thrown. It's still very sticky sharp. It did not bend. And I, like I said, I've even had some decent pike on this and they, they have not destroyed it. Um, I mean, again, the, the paint, I don't know if you can see this, is a little worse for wear. The half ounce is still on there. I was afraid that that might rub off with you know fishing like gravel and like sand flats and boulders but it's still on there the blades kind of dinged up but I think even now and most of you fishermen know that when you have a, a lure that looks a little scraped up and beat up maybe that's like the best lure in the box to throw the fish just key on it um, this has been awesome the the skirt has held up great any trailer I've thrown on it has stayed on now this has one of those Yamamoto uh, Zacos on it, Zacos on it right now, but I found that my best trailer really was like a twin tail cross style uh, grub um, that really caught the most. I've I've switched to this one to see if I could catch a bigger bass with this larger profile now, and I'll show you what I was throwing it on. So I have it on this Envy Black. Uh, it's a 610 medium rod. I've been throwing it with this Concept C by 13 Fishing Reel, but this baby is an 8-1 to 1. This is a very high speed reel. I know a lot of guys, like the Brett Heights and the videos I've seen of his, that he was recommending throwing it on like a 6-4 to 1. Um, I like the high speed reel. I can slow myself down, but again, how I was talking before with this not breaking the, the surface, is 
throwing this as fast as possible, especially in real shallow areas where I didn't want it to get hung up, so I was really burning with this reel, it still stayed down. It never broke the, the surface of the water. Um, where, you know, you would throw even the, like the Project Z and it wanted just to come up. It just wanted to rise up too much. And even after throwing it maybe five, six times, I was cutting that lure off and throwing this one back on. This one was just where it was at. The, the skirt, the, the hook keeper, the head, the blade, the color, it's been awesome. So if you really are considering getting more bladed jigs, if you're not someone who's gonna build your own and you're gonna to go to Tag Warehouse and buy three or four or five different colors of like a Project Z or a Custom or an Elite or something, I would save your money. I would go ahead, just buy a jackhammer, try it. See how it works for you. Don't be so skeptical because this thing really is awesome. And by no means am I partnered with or paid by Z-Man. This is not, um, you know, some kind of endorsement deal that I do with them. I, you know, this is my personal review. And like I said, I was one of those guys in the beginning that was like, how in the world could this thing be worth $15? But after as many fish as I've caught with it, as well as it's held up, the way it works in the water, this thing is all worth $15 to me. And I know I'm gonna throw this thing all year long. This is an awesome lure. If you are considering getting one, go ahead and bite the bullet and do it. Or, you know, wait for a sale. Tackle Warehouse and a lot of these other places do offer sales. Maybe that'll be the time that you finally give it a try. But I wouldn't waste, I wouldn't waste the time. This is springtime now, especially here in Michigan. You know, the, the spawn, the pre-spawn is all happening right now. Fish are trying to eat. This thing has been awesome for that. So go ahead, get yourself one. You will not regret it. It is definitely better than all of the other chatterbaits out there it it just is this has been awesome i'm i'm glad i bought it and i will definitely wind up buying more so i appreciate your time hanging with me subscribing and liking my channel if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe fish hook terry saying tight lines and you guys have a great and awesome day thank you so much Bye bye